Woods. We got the uh, rangefinder on. I'll just show you it working. Try and get it on that little sign there, 65 metres away. So it's a very lovely unit. The Hawk LRF 600 Professional. Um, they do a 400 as well. I didn't really need a 600. I only needed a 400 from, you know, for plinking. And, but I figured the 600 must have a better laser in it. Um, obviously, for longer distances, or more powerful laser in it slightly, just for the 200 more meters distance. Um, so I figured, well, it's just me being me, to be honest. I just, I just thought I'll get the 600. It's about 20 pounds difference. I just thought, you know, for 20 quid, surely if it's got more power, it's going to be slightly more accurate. So I, I went for this one. But it's, um, it's an awesome piece of kit. It's something you do need if you're shooting, trying to learn distances, setting up your rifle. You know, so you know where your mill dots are going and stuff like that. It does make a hell of a difference. Um, let's see if I can get this line back up again. But, uh, I mean, it's just bloody awesome. I'm going to go to that sign again, if I can see it. There it is. Um, one click turns it on. Hold the button down. Point at the object you want. 22 metres, 21 metres away. See where that is there on this camera it looks a hell of a lot further away but if I put that back there you can now see the dog and he's literally in front of me so it might not work I have to move back a bit I do he'll probably follow me there you go he's six meters away so We've got some birds down there, I reckon they're a good 100 metres away. There they are. See the birds, yeah, there you go. 120. So, it's a pretty awesome piece of kit. It does work extremely well. There's not really much to say about it. You've got main settings in here, so you can go beeline. Really get the beat on it. and then you've got um, height measurements, angles, button down, give you your angle, which you press the buttons, so it's not a bad feature, um, and then it gives you like a height one where you can aim and swing there at the bottom. there really quickly but that's what it does when it's blank when there's nothing there and it's just the meters and the readings and all that that is set in standard mode um, and then you can like you know, let's go down to those houses again there I can't really see what's going on when the camera's moved there you go so, 130 140 meters it works extremely well and you literally just hold the button. And I go to across to the other side of the field, there's a fence up there. Um, round about there. It's about 250, there you go, 270. 263. Um, it's just an awesome piece of kit, you've got to have one. Um, I don't know what all models are like. I've never used one of these things before. But for me, it's awesome. Um, it does, does exactly what you need it to do. I'll measure there, it's going to be about 300 meters. Turn it on, press the button, there you go, 322 meters. So, awesome piece of kit, I'm very happy with it. Uh, it actually works quite well, um, even in low light, and it's quite cloudy today, there's the sun up there, you know, it's cloudy, but during the day it works fine. When it gets later on tonight, I tried it out last night, it was quite, you know, it was getting dusk. It was almost dark but basically what I found is if you can see through it it, it will 
will still work. So I see some guy walking down the field there, 189 metres away. Um, do get a little case with it, a little hooky thing to, you know, and you get a little cloth which I've left in there. Just uh, whack it all in here. Goes only in one way. Um, lens facing out. This little lens hole here as well. It does does wind out. It doesn't do much for us. So fits back in there perfectly. So yeah, there it is. And it's a little case. It's looking great. Yeah, you need one. The um, Hawkey Pro 600. It's an awesome piece of kit. I think it was 160 pounds, um, and I believe the 400 is something like 135, 140 pounds. So it's hardly any difference. And I just figured 20 quid, sod it. I'll take the 600. Um, comes with a battery. It's not rechargeable. Um, but I'm guessing that battery is probably going to last. I don't know, but a long time. Because you're not you're not you're not on it all the time. I mean, you will be when you first buy it, because you can't help playing with these things. Um, it's an awesome piece of kit. Go get yourself one. You need it. Anyway, thought we'd come out with the uh, Hawk Rangefinder. The my bloody phone is terrible. Um, the uh, LRF 600 Professional. It's quite dark out, really, but I just wanted to see if it would work. And, in these sort of lights, so I'm gonna have a quick go. I can still see through it. I've got it set on meters because I prefer meters, and it's working fine. So I'm guessing that that telegraph pole over there, I guessed wrong, I guessed it was about 70, but it's actually 58 meters. Still working. 50, 58. I'll go from that telegraph pole to the next. I already measured it, I know what it is, but <coughs> just to show you if I can get this camera to line up again, which would be handy. Boom. 104 meters. I can tell you what that is in yards. It's just about working there. It's nice. There we go, 114 yards. Two hundred and seventy-one yards. It's getting dark now. I'm going back to meters. One hundred and four meters. You can barely see that telegraph pole. Anyway, it works in really low light. If you can see, well, it is definitely working in low light. Uh, I can just about see up top of the field there. I'm getting 163 meters. To the telegraph pole, I'm getting 104 meters now. I've moved. Such a shame. I can't line this thing up. When you can see, you can really see well. I mean, you can see through my camera how dark it is. You can't even see the dog. Just about to see them trees up there. Anyhow, it's goddamn freezing. 